got to watch out because uh, this is two ways so people could be coming back down the hill on us. ahead of myself don't want to lose uh, my dad or Stuart you guys can go ahead I just want to make sure he doesn't fall or something and get left behind yeah. go for it man I love it for the track, but the ability to talk like this while Bobby trails is so sick! Woo! Oh, that's not a trail to the right. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that view. That's so sick. Got that wash out there. As we descend deeper into the mountains. I don't that doesn't really make sense deeper into the mountains, but you you get it. You can tell by the dirt, it's moist down here. Woo! Game over, dude. Yeah. Ooh, water crossing. <laughs> Guess we're going the right way. I don't think there's a wrong way. Oh, those two 
go back together. Man, hitting these ru roots is the harder than hitting ruts. Those things are freaking solid, as you can imagine, of course. tripping.
on that, it almost slid out on me. Caught my leg into the foot peg pretty hard on that actually. That's awesome. How are you feeling? Pretty good. My hands are already numb. Yeah. <laughs> Those hand are good. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm stoked on them. You want to lead the way? Go for it, man. Snake Run Canyon through here, kinda. Oh man. Some running water down this hill. Or maybe it was just moving from the bikes. Well, it was downhill, so uh, due to physics and gravity, I would assume that that was running downhill. Yeah, nice and tight through here. Well, for me, you know, being a track rider, this is considered tight. Four fifty is just so unfair. It just pulls these hills so easily. Just compared to this two fifty two stroke my dad is on. I'm sure Stewart's experiencing the same thing. A few different paths down this uh, hill. Kind of riding the brakes the whole way through here, no clutch. Oh, probably should have used the clutch. 
letting the bike slow itself down. Kind of riding the front brake now. I can't even imagine hitting these as fast as possible. I'd be into so many trees and shit. That feels so much nicer. The elevation just going from springs to up in the mountains of Woodland Park. Enough to make your ears have to pop. Watch yellow go through there. Right on, oh, that's sick. It's a little loose. Yeah, yeah. I watch my dad come through this. Nice. That's A, yeah. Woo! So we're sticking to trail 717A. The one I almost headed down was AA. So we're just sticking to 1A here. So we should probably check to make sure everyone gets up that all right. Yeah. Oh, nope, no, nope, that's B. Kill your bike, Stuart. His isn't running. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, my dad must have took a little spill. We could hear his bike not running. Come back down, make sure he's gonna be able to get on it. With all his hip problems, it's a little harder for him to swing a leg on the bike. Oh. Okay though? Yeah. Alright. Oh jeez. Yeah, this is a pretty tricky part. You turn up 717A and it got a little nutty there. No warning, you know, just turn up the hill and it's like, oh man, you gotta you gotta bro for it. Like there, I almost slipped into the ravine. You said the goggles are fogging up some? Yeah, because <laughs> when they have the glasses in there, you know, they, they get moisture in them. Really. Oh, right. I over, I just kind of slid to a stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, this is... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. yeah, it looks like B is up there. So I assume A is that away. Yeah, on that little sign there. I forgot, 367, oh. that's a whole nother little trail system. Oh yeah, sure enough. So just going then down to the left? Okay. okay. 717A and 357. Yeah, right. they must have these spots where they kind of converge. Yeah, cross over each other. Uh. Yeah, I think that's another spot. So it kind of seems like 717A here connects to another trail. I believe it was like 756 or something like that. Not really sure. I should have looked at the sign closer, but uh, yeah, so it kind of connects. And we think it might be more of a quad trail through this part, which would explain why it's so much wider and everything. And then maybe when we break back off into 717A, it'll get more to single track. But look at this. What an awesome clearing and opening here. So that's 57, that's 357B it looks like. That's 354. Not really sure where we're headed now. Water crossing front. Who cares where we're headed? We're out here, that's what's up. Ooh, big rock. Let's not hit that. Uh-oh. Oh, nope, we're alright. myself. I am so wet now, damn it. Oh man, I, I was looking at the signs, I saw that one, I didn't even see this. Yeah, me either. Okay. I figured I'd come back and check. Yeah. Branch, twig, a little bridge, that was cool. Luckily I did uh, put some tear outs on my goggles. I haven't used one yet, but like that water crossing, my goggles got a little wet, but I'm just gonna let them dry 
just in case you know one of these guys decides to roost me I'd still like to be able to see that'd be nice so and yellow's bike sounds good when he gets on it and you guys have noticed I'm just running this camera pretty much just gonna run it till it dies on this trail so if you've been watching this whole thing that's awesome I do appreciate that I know it's a long time to watch someone else ride a dirt bike without it being a race or anything. Way slowing you guys down. But nah. Nah. I gotta see. I gotta like rest my hands while I try to ride. <laughs> my hands spot right after it. You know. Yeah. So you can't just totally just pin it to the corner. <laughs> right. You gotta be ready to nail a few whoops. You know. <laughs> I thought I heard another bike back there, but must just be going crazy. We're gonna let Stuart go and gonna throw this pine cone at him. Alright, go for it, bro. Oh really? It's gotta got be a little soft. Yeah, it's funny I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> Shows how much I know. Right. <laughs> Didn't reflex teach you anything? Yeah. yeah. Oh, all that build up and we miss. Two-stroke premix and smell behind my dad. Oh, that was a cool corner. Locking it up into that. It's really fun riding these trails. You can uh, go a little slower and focus on squeezing with your knees more, kind of relaxing your arms somewhat. Um, it's a pretty good training, I would say, honestly, because I know I'm really bad about squeezing with my knees and talking to Yellow. He said the same thing, that he's really bad about it. So it's uh, cool to kind of focus on it while you're out here since you're not trying to rip laps and race people and do jumps and stuff, obviously.
getting nailed by a quad here. I was wondering if he had turned that back on. Those are some big whoops there. I saved that. <laughs> it's easy to get a little bit off balance since it's kind of an off camber. And it, yeah, gravity will just pull you and pull you and pull you. And before you know it, there's a tree. Hill whoops, that was sweet.
get a rhythm swerving through these. Yeah, that is awesome. Is that a big nest above us? Nope, just a tree. I thought it was a big nest, it was just a bunch of uh, branches and leaves and stuff. First, uh, first people sighting coming through here. It's always a uh, common courtesy to uh, let people know how many you have behind you. I'm not sure if it's like how many is in your group or how many is behind you, but I don't know if you saw that girl at the end, I think it was a girl, that rider at the end pulled up her fist like that, meaning that's all of us. So we're coming through, if Stuart saw someone, then he should hold up as, again, I don't know, I apologize, but I would assume a three, meaning there's three of us and uh, get on through. We'll ask real quick, actually. When you pull up on people, do you say how many's behind you yeah, or how many's in your group? How many behind you. Okay. So they know there's not like one extra one coming. Right. So in that case, then Stuart would have held up a two and that person would have held up a one. Yeah. And then you saw at the end that the girl gave a fist to her. I think it was a girl. Yeah, she gave, showed me, so. Awesome.
big rock.
much fun blasting them, dude. I know, it's like you bruh, 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 it or Jay's gonna slow through it. Alright, so we came up to here. It looks like 717 continues and then 365. But uh, we're actually gonna head back the other way. So I'm gonna run up. I'm just gonna go check that sign again. So I'm just gonna make sure it was 365 that I had seen, just to make sure. But uh, we're gonna head back now uh, before we all get too tired and worn out and start crashing and stuff, so. Yep, 365 and 717 ahead. And then there's another trail off to the right here. Or off to the left, I mean. But it looks, so that's 365 and we have 717 ahead. So now we're gonna double back and, uh, yep. Let Yellow go through, see if we can get some video of him. Oh, no, you can go ahead, dude. Are you sure? This section right here and it's the most fun I've had yet. All these whooped out areas. So sick. Shadows definitely do mess with you some though. them catch up. Awesome up here. So sick in the uh, Rocky Mountains of Colorado. There we go, we got Stuart coming through. I took that left and I was like, oh shit! <laughs>
Doesn't seem like we're going the right way, right? So you saw there me give him the two, as in two riders behind me, and he gave me the zero, that uh, he was the only one with his uh, group. So uh, good to know there. Don't have to worry about running into someone from his camp. So always be diligent about other riders out here on these uh, two-way trails. Which, if you ask me, is pretty damn sketchy, but hey, that's how it goes. I'm just hoping we're headed the right way is all. The only reason I'm really confused with the uh, trail is because we were doing 717A and now it's just 717. So I don't know how they all intermix and interlock. That's really my biggest uh, qualm with it right now. come a little quick through there, but uh, luckily both of us were aware enough, avoided a situation. Slow up and uh, let the group catch up some. I'm just having too much fun on these whoops. I'm just blasting them like they're a supercross or motocross track, and uh, neither Stuart nor my father are able to blast them quite the way that, that I'm able to. I, um, obviously younger than my dad, obviously that's how families work, but um, 
have more time on the bike than Stuart, he's still getting into it. So I'm definitely the uh, experienced rider out of our bunch. Um, and uh, just <laughs> trying to rip far ahead and uh, leave them in the dust. That's exactly what I'm doing. No discredit to them, it's just that I'm uh, I'm riding at a different a different idea. They're, they're having more fun just to enjoying the trails. I'm having fun trying to rip it like it were uh, some sort of race through uh, enduro or trails or whatever. I don't even know what it'd be considered. Out of the way for this big UTV here. Make sure everyone gets through that all right. Yep. All right, cool. So, yeah, getting later in the day, starting to see more and more people out here. I would not want to have that UTV do this. I feel like that would. That'd be such a bumpy ride without the suspension of your your legs and ankles and feet. I mean, it could be cool, I guess, but man, I I don't know. Out of anything, I'd want to be on a bike, but uh, you guys know me. That's uh, where my heart lies. So, pretty cool little ravine over here to the left. With the river running through, that's sick. Beautiful views here. I want to go play around on those rocks. Man, it stinks down here though. <laughs> Just the standing water, I guess, you know. Get some uh, strange smells. Oh, look at that creek, how sick is that? Running right alongside of us here. On a bridge almost with that tree. Some more big rock formations through here. Yellow revving his bike at me, these guys. No. How did we miss the turn? I have no idea. Because I remember seeing those quad guys, but they must have moved also, because that was all new there. I think we did something weird where the all that kind of whooped out stuff was. Yeah. I remember we went by like that trailer. Right, that's what I kept looking for, and I thought that was actually in that section. Yeah. So we messed something up. And we're lost. And we're lost, just <laughs> like that. All right, so we somehow missed a turn somewhere between 717, 17A, blah, blah, blah. But uh, no big deal, we got to this road, and uh, now we're just gonna double back and um, attempt to find out. You go for it. I don't wanna go too fast and miss it. I don't wanna go too fast and miss it. So we're just uh, doubling back through the stinky water and uh, going a, a bit slower. I was having too much fun blitzing those whoops, so we all missed some turns, I do believe. But uh, head back that way and uh, get back headed where we need to go. 
go. I do love this area though with the uh, creek on my right side here and uh, just the trees, the, the rocks, the river, not really river, but the water crossing. Very sick area. Yeah, lazy way around that. Take it twice.